Hey everybody, what's going on? Ed Zoller, Villa Realty Group, with another one of your Fun Day Monday uh, winner reveal videos. Uh, but of course, at first, I wanted to address all of you uh, about what this current housing market has become. Uh, as you might have heard uh, or seen news on that the uh, craze, this real estate market is absolutely crazy. Uh, the buyers are jumping over, hand over feet to get into houses, and no one really understands why. Uh, of course, I've been scratching my head about it since January to say what really happened. Southwest Florida felt it in February. Some states felt it all the way back into the middle of last year. Uh, I know Atlanta has been going like this for eight, nine months now uh, from a colleague of mine up there. And I've kind of pulled some data uh, that I want to share with you about maybe why and what to expect of this. All of you watching this have a home. You bought a home from me. Hopefully you're loving and enjoying your home. Uh, but everyone's asking about what to do. I also want to give you kind of a warning too about what not to do in this market. Uh, so pretty much I, I got a couple graphs. Uh, but uh, last year, 2020, uh, the market saw a huge downswing of inventory. Uh, it was rapid. Uh, you got to think that in the country, uh, about 5 million homes, new listings come on the market almost every single year. And last year, 2020, we had a drop of 1.1 million. And I want to share with you a little ground. Uh, this is the nationwide, uh, you know, and, and it goes through uh, months from January, February, March. And you can see that we've had this huge lull of inventory month by month countrywide. And the biggest ones being April, down 200,000 listings, down 160 listings, down 101. It uh, started going back up. And then in 2021, we have down again and down again in the orange. What all this means is that buyer uh, sellers decided to stop listing you know i guess covid made them stay at home or maybe they were a little afraid i can speak in my own personal experience that people pulled themselves from the market because they were afraid they didn't want anybody going into their home does that mean they're not going to sell were they delayed in listing or are they uh just happy and content in their home where they wanted to sell and they didn't uh, I think it's more of the latter of the uh, first of the two that I mentioned about where they're delaying the inevitable so a lot of buyers are asking me, what's going to happen? Is this going to continue on forever? And the answer to that in any real estate or any market is, of course not. You know, it's not going to just keep appreciating, appreciating, appreciating. If it does for too long, it crashes and it explodes. Uh, we've only experienced it really since February. Uh, but I think the shortage of 1.1 million, you got backlogs of another 0.9 million. You got the new constructions going really crazy right now and all the permits that are almost to the levels of 05 and 06 of 157,000 on a monthly basis permits going out in the country. And so these country stats kind of bring it home down here to say, at the end of the day, we got nothing for sale. Uh, if there's, if you have a house, you have something that's really rare and I don't care if it's great looking or if it's not great looking, or if you have a pool or if you have granite and at this point it doesn't matter because there's no competition out there. I want to share with you one other stat that I found. Um, and so this is how much month supply we have. And if you look at 2018, there's an up and there's a down and there's an up and there's a down. And then it kind of struggled in 2020 and it didn't go back up. There is literally zero homes for sale right now. So one month of inventory. Uh, but while all that craze happened, you have your up, you have your down, a little peak, a little da down. And then this is what happened since January. And that's why the market is absolutely crazy. 6,600 pending sales. Sales prices, of course, are going sky high. Uh, as you can tell from this graph here, where it was just kind of steady and strong, little increases, and then this just rapid increase up. Obviously, a lot, a lot of you have equity now, and you have some newfound wealth, which is fantastic. You want to build your wealth. Uh, but I caution you, um, do not dry up your equity. Do not borrow from your equity. Do not do a cash out refi to take that money and go spend it on something or worse, invest it in Bitcoin or some sort of idea you have or want to be a real estate investor now where you bought your home, which is a fantastic thing. And although it's horrible to be a buyer right now and absolutely fantastic to be a seller, if you do sell and stay in the same county, you're going to sell high and you're going to buy high. 
And unless you find that smoking deal when there's nothing for sale, there really isn't. So there's this little bit of panic, a little bit of hysteria going on on buyers right now where there's nine to one buyers to sellers because there's just nothing out there. That will change. All these price increases make sellers want to sell. Uh, we have the mortgage moratorium and the eviction moratorium that's not allowing sellers to sell, uh, uh, you know, uh, or, or they end up killing in their equity by not paying their payments. My recommendation for you is please, if you're thinking of refining, don't do it uh, to cash out of it to do something that would be not uh, wise to do towards the house. And, and don't think the appreciation always lasts forever. It doesn't. I have seen this market for 23 years now. It has its ups. It has its downs. Uh, I just I'm, I'm fielding a lot of phone calls from you and I just want to kind of address to everybody, you know, call me first if you're having an idea of doing something to do with your wealth, which is your house. Uh, it's a bit majority of how you gain wealth is from a house, um, but also uh, uh, not to uh, get too carried away or saying, hey, I want to sell my home and I want to buy a home, but I want to buy low and I want to sell high. And if you stay in the same market, short of you moving out of state into an area that maybe didn't show a lot of appreciation uh, or as far as any kind of chaos, uh, then that might be a smart move uh, or just kind of stick put and stay in your house and be happy and keep building wealth and keep doing it, uh, you know, paying down your equity. Anyway, that's just a little short skibby. If you ever want to get really detailed, I got all the data and stats. Uh, my even predictions of when the market's going to kind of stabilize a little bit, uh, fall of 2021 uh, is, is where I'm looking at right now with my data. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get on to the trivia question. Uh, so my multiple choice question was, what is Elvis Presley, uh, I think uh, Charlie Chaplin, or, or Robert Downey Jr. Uh, and Dolly Parton have in common? And it's all that they lost their lookalike contest. Uh, the worst one was um, Tony uh, Stark, or, or, or uh, Robert Downey Jr., came in 27th place. Dolly Parton didn't even make the first cut uh, in her own lookalike contest. And I heard Charlie Chaplin came in like 7th or something like that. So all of you that answered D... Uh, then you are correct. And those of you that didn't, uh, this was a stumper. I got about half of you on it. So I didn't try to make something that's not Googleable and a little more fun to do. Uh, but that's okay. You're entered too as well. So let's get on to reveal. Oh, I got an eight sided die that's just spinning this entire time. And I'm going to stop it on seven. All right. Let's look at our winners. Get my chip ready. And our final SR, Gladys Gonzalez, Colin O'Keefe. Chris Fano and Amy Miller. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure it's in Zoom, and here we go. Whoa, jumping! It's jumping, and we got Gladys Gonzalez. Dover, congratulations! You are going to be a winner of my Amazon gift card that I'm going to send out to your email uh, as soon as I air this video. Thank you all again. I did have a glitch in the system from last month where the video never got uh, uploaded right, so it never sent because of that. And for that, I apologize. I awarded my winner the $25 gift card with my apologies that you did not get to see that video uh, because now I can't even download it and I couldn't even tell you what I talked about at the time. Uh, but stay tuned for the next Fun Day Monday. I am going to open this up to uh, some of my existing clientele because I just give it to the people who've closed uh, which we have more the merrier and you can all answer again so I'm glad I stumped you on this month's uh, get, give me a call if you have any questions concerns uh, anything about the market homes value uh, what to do what you're thinking of um, and you know I'm always here for you I've got some new trades for my trade list and so if you have any need of anything, and thank you all very much in the newsletter for giving me qualified painters. I've called them all. I've actually picked one, and I've already sent him on his first job. Quite thrilled with that. So if you need a new painter, I got one for you. Uh, so anyway, this is Ed Zoller, uh, Teachers Can Buy Homes, Villa Realty Group, and you guys have a great evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.